Welcome to the seventh episode of the Electric Vehicle Weekly, and I'm Amit, your host. And in this show, we will be talking about how EVs are disrupting shared mobility space. We also have an audio version of the show, which is available for you to hear on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. Moving on to the first news of the show, Sun Mobility plans to roll out 100 battery swapping stations in Bangalore, and they have tied up with IOCL, which is the Indian Oil uh, Petrol Pumps. And they will be launching it along with them in the heart of uh, Bangalore City. Sun Mobility also announced a partnership with the city's Metro Ride, a sustainable and environment-friendly shared mobility solution, which will actually be a first and a last mile connectivity for Metro Rails and Metro Ride's fleet of the Piaggio Ape E City Electric three wheelers will make use of Sun Mobility swap points deployed at Indian Oil outlets. Sun Mobility have already installed their battery swap stations in other cities like Chandigarh, Delhi NCR, Trivandrum, Calicut. We also have uh, something that Chetan Meni had to say, who is the co-founder of Sun Mobility. Uh, these battery swap stations will be available for all forms of shared mobility including e-rickshaws, bikes and will be available for food and courier delivery riders too. So the Ape E-City electric three-wheeler will actually be manufactured in the state of Maharashtra and is available in the Indian market at a price in line with the state with that of fueled model. These will be using Sun Mobility's battery swapping stations and will be manufactured in Piaggio's group's Baramati facility which is in Maharashtra. With the rollout of the 100 swap points, Sun Mobility looks forward to working with infrastructure enablers like the Bescom and BMRC. Uh, which will enable them to have a robust network of battery swapping infrastructure in the city. So coming to what Plugin India thinks about uh, Chetan Meni's Sun Mobility, we really think that Chetan Meni is a true visionary and we all have driven the E2O and the classic Reva. With Sun Mobility, Chetan Meni is trying to solve three problems which are mainly reducing the cost of the electric vehicle by not selling the electric vehicle with a battery. Uh, secondly, that you know EVs that you can charge quickly. So there are battery swapping stations where people can just go and swap their batteries and go ahead and finish their journey. And the third thing is improving the life of the battery by charging them in air conditions battery swapping stations rather than in a hot vehicle. So Sun Mobility's battery swap technology would be perfect for the Delhi NCR area also because Delhi NCR has over about 100,000 e-rickshaws that use lead acid batteries and they take about six to eight hours to charge. They only go 70 kilometers a day and they also weigh a lot over 30 kilos. Uh, Sun Mobility's swappable batteries weigh only 13 kg and they can be swapped in the middle of the day or whenever you want to and ride up to 140 kilometers per day, potentially doubling your income. Shared mobility is a huge opportunity for Sun Mobility. This also includes food and goods delivery. It's becoming a very big thing in India and companies like you know Flipkart, Zomato, Swiggy want to move a large chunk of their deliveries to EVs. So we do have one observation that we have made. Sun Mobility's operations have been going on for more than four years and we only see two OEM partners, Ashok Leyland and Piaggio. So we want more OEM partners so that they can manufacture electric vehicles which are compatible with Sun Mobility's battery swapping stations. And we want to wish all the best to Sun Mobility for their future endeavors. Moving on to the next news article, which is about Tata Motors, and they have managed to deliver 26 of their electric buses out of 340. In, and this is in Mumbai. Tata Motors is India's largest commercial vehicle manufacturer, and they have signed up a gross cost contract with BEST, which is Brihan Mumbai Electric Supply and Transport. So these buses are delivered as a part of the larger order, as I mentioned, about 340 electric buses from BEST under the Government of India's Fame 2 initiative. So the president of the commercial vehicle business unit of Tata Motors, Girish Varg, he said, the buses have been specially designed keeping the comfort and convenience of Mumbai cars, including a lift mechanism for differently able travelers. Maintaining global standards in the manufacturing process and vehicle development centers have helped in innovating and leading the electric mobility solutions from the front. So all in all, Tata Motors has actually delivered about 215 electric buses, which is spread across five cities in India. 
and they have clocked about 4 million kilometers. This actually gives them a lot of data which they have collected and they can analyze this to actually go ahead and improve the electric buses that they are manufacturing. So we do see that just like the Tata Nexon EV was manufactured with the whole Tata conglomerate coming together and successfully launching an amazing uh, Nexon EV. Even here, Tata Power will be actually putting up the charging facility for the buses to get charged. And Tata Auto Components, which is actually sourcing and supplying all the auto components to the Tata Motors for manufacturing the bus. So there's another good thing that we see here is that in Mumbai, Best has signed up with Tata Motors, which is manufacturing the electric bus completely in India. Uh, whereas the other cities have gone ahead with BYD and Photon, which are Chinese manufacturers. Another very interesting that we have seen is uh, the gross cost contract, which is a model being followed by most of the cities like it was followed in Pune and now in Mumbai. So in the GCC model, what actually happens is, is that the electric bus manufacturer or the operator actually has to provide a complete package. They have to provide the buses, they have to maintain them and they also have to provide the infrastructure for charging. So this kind of public-private partnership is working really well between the municipality and the manufacturer of electric buses because they don't have to shell out a huge amount of money to buy the electric buses. They're actually leasing them and paying monthly and even, you know, the taxpayers' money is getting saved there. So 2021 will definitely see an explosion of electric buses uh, in the, uh, on the roads of uh, Indian cities. And we would like to know if you have actually taken a ride in one of these electric buses and how did you feel and do let us know in the comments below. So moving on to the next news item which is about a shared mobility platform called Bounce which is going 100% electric scooters by financial year 2022 which will be somewhere in the third quarter. So Bounce has actually planned to have 4,000 electric scooters by the end of February 2021. Bounce has operations in many cities like Hassan, Mysuru, Vijaywada, Bengaluru and also in Hyderabad. And they actually have 6,000 scooters on its platform and 50% of these are now electric. So Bounce is currently offering its bikes to consumers under three plans. There is a short-term rental plan. There's a long-term rental plan and ride share. The STR allows the bike to be rented for say 2 to 12 hours in a day. The LTR which is a long-term rental which will enable customers to rent bikes for 15 to 45 days. So we do know of many pure EV rental firms like the eBike Go and Yulu and they offer electric scooters only. But there are other older platforms like the Bounce and Vogo which had petrol scooters and it's nice to see that they're actually kicking them out now and getting going 100% electric. So we do see a lot of comments from petrol heads and EV cynics, you know, that uh, electric scooters are problematic. But as you can see, the reality is totally different. So businesses are actually trusting electric scooters more. Ultimately, businesses will see which product or technology offers the most value and electric vehicles are definitely way superior to petrol vehicles in terms of economy, efficiency, reliability and performance. So as Bounce and Vogo move towards 100% electric scooter fleets, they will definitely face some challenges. So the first challenge they will face is about how will they build the confidence in the electric scooter rider and this rider could be a new rider and he would be worried about where will he charge the electric scooter. Uh, so they will have to make sure that they set up 20 to 25 open charge points across the cities. So this will definitely build the confidence in the riders. The second challenge that they should actually address is choosing the right OEM partner. And what we would recommend is that you choose somebody who is actually localizing the manufacturing process and also investing in the R&D as ultimately this is what will pay off for the rental startups. Moving on to the last article in the show and we are talking about Sonalika tractors and they have launched an electric tractor at a price point of rupees 5.99 lakhs and they've also started accepting bookings for the same. Sonalika tractors have presence in more than 130 plus countries and manufactures tractors in its integrated tractor manufacturing plant which is in Hosharpur, Punjab. The company also has an extensive R&D team to maximize on innovation. 
The company says that the Tiger electric tractor is designed in Europe and is manufactured at Sonalika's integrated tractor manufacturing facility at Hoshiarpur in Punjab. The electric tractor has some amazing features and is equipped with a 11 kilowatt induction motor which is designed by a German firm e track and offers 100% torque from the start. It has a 25.5 kilowatt hour compact battery which is IP67 rated. The tractor can be charged in 10 hours and also comes with fast charging facility that can charge the battery in about 4 hours. The tractor offers a battery backup of 8 hours while operating with a 2-ton trolley. So Raman Mithal, who is the executive director of Sonalika Group, has made a promise to every Indian farmer to constantly provide technological evolutions to enhance farm productivity and profitability uh, which, is, which comes packaged with the Tiger Electric, where we have bridged the gap between concept and being field ready. So we recently spoke to Mr. Sayed Mubushir, who is the founder of Celestial Mobility, which is an electric tractor manufacturing startup in, and has launched an electric tractor in India. But the electric tractor which we were talking about is one of the first which is being launched by a large player, which is Sonalika Tractors. In India, where an average tractor can cost between Rs. 3 lakhs to Rs. 10 lakhs, the Tiger Electric is priced at Rs. 5.99 lakhs, which seems competitive, especially with the fuel savings. So in a normal electric vehicle, you know, what you actually look for is a range where, you know, how far the electric vehicle can go. But in an electric tractor, you would like to know that how many hours it can actually run. So this tractor will offer a range of about 8 hours with a 2-ton load and will only consume uh, 25 units of electricity. So we do know that Sonalika Group has operations in 100 plus countries and they might uh, export the Tiger electric tractor to other countries. And if they do that, this would be the first electric vehicle manufacturing company that will be exporting to other countries from India. So hats off to Team Sonalika and we do hope that other tractor giants like the Mahindra and John Deere wake up and stop their diesel addiction. And I do have to mention that we really love the Tiger electric tractor. The promotional video you guys have made is awesome. So with this we come to the end of the show and do let us know what you feel about the Sonalika Tiger electric tractor. So we really loved it. I think you should, you guys should go and watch the promotional video also. We will have the link in the description and you can go and watch it and let us know what you feel about it. You can find transcripts of each show on our Plugin India website. Plugin India is an EV advocacy group which is promoting electric vehicles and sustainable transport in India. You can write to us at support at the rate pluginindia.com and find us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. We are a self-owned group and do not belong to any large media organization. So if you would like to support us, do become a Patreon member or a YouTube channel member. You can also support us for free by just liking uh, our shows and subscribing to them and sharing it with your friends and family. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the Apple Podcast, the Google Podcast and Spotify. Signing off there, take good care. Bye.